people of Bethlehem in the present as grace in our souls and in the future as the soon coming king. The lighting of the love advent candle. Verse 20. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. God calls Joseph into the deep vulnerability of love. To love Mary in this moment will require trust, risk, and the sacrifice of pride. To love the baby within her, the catalyst for uninvited upheaval in his life, will require humility, gentleness, and habitual generosity. This is the kind of love we prepare to practice during Advent. To embrace this coming child, bring both upheaval and the meaning to our existence, and to reorient ourselves towards trust, risk, and the sacrifice of pride. Let us pray that as we approach Bethlehem, the love of God will grow in us, that we may share that love with the hurting world. On this day, the Lord's Day, we relight the candles of hope, peace, and joy, and we light for the first time, the candle of love, the fourth candle of Advent. Today, we are thankful for the light of love in our lives. May this love grow in us as we prepare to welcome our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God of love, you have loved us with everlasting love. Therefore, please help us to love you and your children with the vulnerability and passion with you, which you have loved us. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Come on, can we just give God a word and a praise? This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I would that you might look at your neighbor and say, neighbor.